you want to enjoy all the flavors of summer but don't want to spend too much time in the kitchen, our chef on a shoestring is for you, Ellie Krieger, host of the Food Network's Healthy Appetite, where she showcases simple, good-for-you recipes. We gave you a $40 budget to create a three-course meal. See how she did for four people. Good morning, Ellie. Good morning. Thanks for being here. Yeah, have a here. great meal, great Tell summer us. meal. Tell us what's on the menu. Green herb dip. I have a succotash with scallops and a beautiful parsley drizzle and peaches with the balsamic cherries. You're okay. gonna love it. I can't wait. Let's start with the green herb dip. And how do so we make that? Simple, so it starts with a really creamy base of goat's cheese. And I use a low fat, soft goat's cheese. And if you can't find low fat, that's fine. Cause actually goat's cheese, even the regular soft goat cheese is lower in fat than most cheeses. Ah, okay. So that's a great start. And a little bit of yogurt mm -hmm. and a little oil just to help Make it creamy, and then just give that a I whir. I can never close these things. Oh, I, I know. There well. we go. And then you and just give that a whir, and it gets nice and creamy. What texture do you want? Just like a, a cream, like a more. sour cream? Exactly. Okay. It makes it like a sour cream texture, but it has a nice tangy taste, and it doesn't have all that fat of sour cream. And so then it's what wonderful. herbs do you throw I in? You know what? You can use any herbs you want. Here, I'm using parsley, some mint, some thyme, whatever's grown in your garden, whatever you have at the market. Take advantage of the wonderful summer produce. Let's see how you it You put tastes. that in the fridge for a little while. Sorry, no spoon around. <laughs> well, you can use these veggies if you want to, these beautiful oh, baby vegetables. Oh, you don't vegetables. know that about me. I don't, I don't do raw veggies. <laughs> oh, no. All right. Well, how do you like it? It's tasty, it's right? It's delicious. Absolutely. Oh, wait. But the, the, the important thing that we missed is you said you have to chill this for Yeah, you put it in the fridge for one hour. Okay, just one to make hour. sure all the flavors meld and it gets a nice consistency. Great. Let's go to the main okay. course. This smells so, delicious. Yeah, onions well, and garlic. Onions and garlic. You can't go mm. wrong with that start. And that's basically your start for a succotash. And what succotash? Okay, hold on. <laughs> Suck of a problem. Succotash. You guys like succotash? Yeah. Oh, oh, succotash fans. I don't even know what it is, but it seems to get a bad rap a lot. Well, you know what? Maybe people are just not used to the word, but what it basically is, is corn and lima beans and onions. Oh, that sounds good. And that's the classic. So I'm going to use fresh corn. You can use frozen if fresh isn't on hand. Some lima beans. And this is a basically a classic Native American dish, okay. just like this, but I'm amping it up with more summer vegetables, great color. Yeah, I always look how beautiful those tomatoes are. Some tomatoes, Yum. some zucchini, and I always add vegetables and whenever I can. It adds color and flavor. You just stir and it up with some olive oil and that's exactly. All you just stir this up. You let this simmer until it's soft for about five, seven minutes. And I'm going to make this a whole meal, so we'll let that sit and cook okay. for a little bit. Now you're going to add scallops as well? Yeah, that's how I'm going to make it a whole meal. So this is supposed to be a healthy, good for you meal. Why yeah. include scallops? Well, people who eat fish are healthier. Yeah. Two times a week you should have fish, ideally, at least. And scallops are just a great way to go. They're meaty. Mm. I'm just going to sear them here. Love a little scallops. bit of oil. You can put them on the grill. They're lovely like that. Now you don't want to cook them too long though, right? right? You don't want to cook them until they're tough. Just about three minutes on each side. So this is a fast yeah. dinner. Let me Super tell you. quick. Okay, so this is what the succotash looks exactly. like. Exactly. Can I taste it? Of course. You know what? <laughs> Let me just put a little bit of basil on top because it's really lovely like that. And it's another opportunity to use some fresh herbs. Yes. And you can just tear that on. You want to tear some up? Sure. Also? You can just tear that on. Yeah, I just it smells perfect so for good. summer. Now, let me grab a fork. Okay, let me help you I out I never here. thought that I'd be begging to taste succotash, but you know what? It does look great. I'll just serve some up for you with some scallops, too. Mm. Isn't it yummy? Mm. You know, it's so simple, but sometimes the simplest things are the best. Who knew? Who I will knew? never diss succotash Thank again. Thank you. <laughs> And it's right. fun, you can also say it, fuckatash. Fuck, suffering fuckatash. Exactly. So and then, that's how you serve it up, beautiful in the end with the um, with the scallops, but then I see you put a little sauce on top. Yes, yeah, so I'm gonna grab a okay, couple sorry. of scallops here for you. So just like this. I mean, this is the kind of thing you can easily make on a weeknight, but you can be happy and proud to serve to guests, too. And what do you drizzle on top? What's the it's green sauce? parsley drizzle, and that's just basically parsley, lemon, a little olive oil. Just in the food processor, just like that, and it just makes it even more luxurious and oh, beautiful. Delicious. You're all about so, herbs, right? Well, summer, you know what? Summer, you want to take advantage of that. Why not? Yeah. Let's and I'm all about fresh, delicious, healthy, but it has to be good. It can't just 
be, be healthy. healthy you yeah, because a lot of people think healthy, I'd rather have a pizza because it tastes good, but this yeah, tastes great too. It has to taste good, you know, and there's no reason why it shouldn't. Mm. And wait till you try dessert because okay. it's unbelievable. So basically, also, mm. I just took some cherries, classic summer. Right. Veg it's not a vegetable. Fruit. fruit. <laughs> classic summer fruit with some balsamic vinegar and a little bit of sugar. And the balsamic is like sweet and tart. It makes a beautiful sauce. Just put that in a pan, let that sort of simmer down for about five minutes till it comes out to be a beautiful like syrup texture. And you pour that over some peaches. Ooh. And that'll be nice and warm over your peaches. And the warm syrup mm. actually kind of softens the peaches a little bit, but still they retain their freshness mm. and have a nice bite to them, a nice sort of texture to them. And peaches, of course, are essential in the summer. Yeah. I've been seeing such great peaches in the market now. And again, this just took five minutes for you to boil. Yeah. That's great. So okay. it's easy. It's healthy. And these recipes are on um, foodnetwork.com. I have a whole interactive website on there. Great. Guys, oh, come on in. Try to nice. suck a tash. Yes, yes I'll suck think. a tash. This is vinegar. Sir? You put vinegar a on fruit? Bit? Yeah. It's, it's unbelievable. Awesome. That's for you. Great. Oh, thank you. I mean, mm. who knew succotash would be so good? No nope. kidding. Succotash, anyone? Succotash. Let's hear from you. It's a great family back You can say, hey, ooh, hey, barbed wire. Who wants barbed wire? Bar bar. <laughs> First course, let's see what she bought here. Low-fat goat cheese, plain yogurt, and parsley. Also, thyme, mint, breadsticks. For the main course, sea scallops, corn, lima beans, zucchini and onion, garlic, grape tomatoes, basil, and a lemon. And for the dessert, Peaches and cherries. No way. Grand total. No way. Let's say. Thirty nine ninety eight. Two cents to spare. Yeah. What did we forget? Nice job, Ellie. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. Thank you Thank so you. much You're for being delicious. here. It really is good. We're gonna get Wee Heart Succotash T-shirts. <laughs> <laughs> so cool. How sweet. Star coming up in our second cup cafe. Sweetheart. Yum yum yum.